Former Dallas police officer convicted of murdering Botham Jean in his own apartment six years ago will soon be eligible for parole. The case attracted national attention, as you probably know if you've been around here, sparked protests around our city. Our Trevor Sahaki tonight speaking with Botham Jean's family ahead of Amber Geiger's parole hearing. She's caused my family tremendous harm, tremendous hurt, tremendous pain, and she ought to remain where she is. Nearly six years to the day after Botham John was shot in his apartment in Dallas, his killer, Amber Geiger, is up for parole on Monday on what would have been Botham's 33rd birthday. She needs to serve her entire 10 year term, which is way below um, a sentence that one receives for murder. A murder of an innocent man in the comfort of his home doing nothing wrong. Geiger, a Dallas police officer at the time, told authorities she confused Botham John's apartment for her own. Her body camera was not recording during the shooting because she was off duty. Zarita Hall is a professor at the University of Texas Arlington and a former parole officer. She said letters from Botham's family would be considered during a parole hearing. Uh, this man was murdered. Uh, he was killed in his own, own home. So I would imagine uh, letters of support of her staying in prison would probably be pouring in. Geiger was convicted of murder and sentenced to 10 years in prison in 2019. She appealed the conviction but lost her appeal two years ago. She will go before the parole board. There's a panel of people. They'll ask her questions, um, you know, about how she changed and what she thinks about, you know, all these things, right? Hall said Geiger may not appear in person and the board may just review the paperwork. So public concern can definitely be a factor. Support letters for the uh, support letters for the victim, support letters for uh, the person that's incarcerated. We have reached out to Geiger's attorneys multiple times for comment, but have not heard back. Trevor Sahaki, CBS News, Texas.